Alrighty, y'all. I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. I'm super happy and excited to bring y'all today's unboxing and boot review. And the boots that we're going to be looking at today is going to be a pair of Tacovas the Barrett. And this is a re-release. This boot originally came out back in 2021. So Tacovas decided to bring it back in a different color. And we're going to look at some of the similarities, or I'm going to let you know about some of the similarities and differences between the original and this newer version of the Barrett. Guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. And let's do the unboxing of this new re-release of the Tacovas the Barrett. Alrighty guys, you know in most of my boot reviews, you're gonna see that I try to pick up the matching belt for these boots because what happens is if you don't pick up the belt when these boots are released, in the future you may want a belt that may be similar or that'll match your boots and they're gonna be hard to get guys. Righty y'all. Here's one of the boots. And here we have the second boot. Alrighty y'all, here we have the new Tacobas, the Barrett. So now let's start going through these boots and see the construction and what Tacobas did differently from the original the Barrett and guys you're gonna be super happy with these boots I'm already happy with these boots and I can tell you I really really like the look because they look rugged and they look casual these boots are gonna look great with your black denim light denim or your dark denim however you guys really want to dress them they're a little bit more on the casual side so I wouldn't suggest really wearing them with slacks that's really gonna be up to you but these are gonna look perfect with some of your denim. And the fact that these are snip toe and they look rugged, guys, these boots scream cowboy, all right? When I first started wearing cowboy boots, and actually the Barrett, the original Barrett, was the first pair of snip toe boots that I purchased. And I was skeptical and iffy about the snip toe look, but guys, after I put them on, I looked down and I was like, holy cow, these really scream cowboy guys. And I know that some of us may have to come a little bit out of our comfort zone with some of the styles with like the snip toe, but don't hesitate to wear these boots. The more you wear them, you'll see that this style really fits everybody. A lot of the times we're just kind of subconscious, but you don't have to feel that way. You'll see that these boots scream cowboy. So guys, pick up a pair if you haven't. I'm gonna be providing y'all with a link in the description down below that'll take you straight to Tacovas. And there's very limited quantities and sizes available of these still. So if you're looking to purchase these, right now may be the time to buy them because they're mostly out of stock, guys. So this is a very popular look. Even though some people don't like snip toe, once you put them on, you're gonna see that these are gonna look great on you guys. So let's start looking at the construction of these boots and I'm gonna describe some of the similarities and some of the differences between the original, the Barrett, and these new pair of Barretts. Alrighty y'all, this boot features a 12 inch shaft and this shaft is made out of goat skin. The original, the Barrett, as far as I know, was made out of calf skin or bovine, but this one is actually made out of goat skin. What's similar is the stitching, right? So you're going to have some of the same cording and you're going to have some of the same stitching. And I even think that the stitching is going to be the same for both the original and as well as this boot. Now let's move on to the vamp of the boot. And this boot features a back cut python skin. And the reason that it's a back cut is because the python skin was cut on the back preserving the belly part, which is what you see here on the upper part of the vamp. So the official name of the color that Tacovas decided to give this boot is the Sport Rust Python, and I think that's fairly accurate. Um, unlike the original, this boot is kind of two-tone, so it has lighter shades and darker shades of brown or rust, and um, I think that it's a pretty cool look, giving it a real rugged appeal, and that's kind of gonna differ from the original. The original has a little bit more of a slick look to it. It still has a little bit of rugged undertones, but 
for the most part it's pretty slick so this one looks like it's kind of been messed with a little bit you can see like some little scratches on here and that's all done on purpose and i think that this makes these boots look super cool and rugged and i'm a real fan of this look and i actually think that a lot of people are liking this boot because it's almost sold out and we've been able to see that tacovas has done a lot of limited release boots recently and a lot of them haven't sold out because there's been so many and this boot came out and it's almost gone guys and it's only been out a few weeks so guys really and truly don't hesitate to purchase these boots if you want them or go ahead and buy them and if you see them in person and you don't like them then go ahead and return them guys Tacovas has an awesome customer service and a real good return policy so really and truly you'll have nothing to lose you can purchase them look at them if you're not feeling them you don't like the style go ahead and return them um, that won't be an issue guys. Now let's move on to the bottom of these boots. These boots feature a leather sole with the Tacovas name on here, lemon wood pegs, as well as a few brass nails on here. This boot also features an inch and a half leather stack cowboy heel with a rubber cap with the Tacovas logo on there. And this is gonna be the new Tacovas logo. So that's pretty cool to see that they've been recently transitioning to this new logo on some of their boots. Some of their other boots that have been limited releases still feature the older style Tacovas logo. So I kind of like that about these boots too. So that's also going to be a difference between the original and these. Now let's take a look at the inner lining in these boots. We can see that these boots don't have any rough cuts on the inside. And this is going to help guys with those side seams because they're going to be real comfortable. They're not going to rub up against the side of your legs and cause any discomfort. So guys, this is something that Tacovas always does and that I like about their boots. And to be honest, I don't always wear boot socks with these. Sometimes I wear ankle socks with these boots and I don't feel any discomfort on the side of my leg. So I'm glad that Tacovas has always done this from the beginning on all of their boots. And that was a wise decision. Guys, if you own different pairs of boots, you're gonna see that some of them have those rough cuts in there and you have to wear longer socks because if not, they're gonna rub up right up against your legs and cause some real discomfort. And I really am not a fan of that. So now guys, let's get some more close-up shots of these boots. So here we're gonna have the front of the boots. The side of the boots. The back of the boots. The bottom of the boots. Alrighty y'all, now that we've taken a good look at these boots as well as looked at the original Barrett's, let me know in the comments down below which boots do you prefer. Do you like these or do you like the original Barrett's? Did you go ahead and purchase these? Are you going to purchase these? Hopefully Tacova still has some in your size guys. So look out for those. But let me know in the comments down below what you think about these boots guys. Another thing that I briefly wanted to mention before I go is the answer to a question that I often get. And the question that I get is in regards to sizing. A lot of people don't own a pair of Tacovas and they're looking to purchase their first pair of Tacovas, So they ask about sizing. For reference, I'm gonna use myself. So in tennis shoes and both Nike and Adidas, I wear a size 12. And in Tacovas, I find myself sizing down by half a size. I also know that I have a slightly wider foot, so I go ahead and purchase my boots in a double E, which is the wide version. But if you have a slimmer foot or just a normal width foot, then go ahead and purchase a D size. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And with that, I want to thank y'all so much for watching. And until next time, bye you guys.